Miles, joining me live now from Geelong is the Defence Minister and Deputy Prime Minister. Mr Miles, thanks for your time this morning. Can I ask, first of all, for your take on the Fadden by-election result? Well, I think uh, the, the Fadden by-election result is, is certainly no comfort for the opposition. Um, uh, the, the swing that was there was about half of what you would typically see against the government in a by-election. It's obviously a seat that we've never held before. I think we were outspend something in the order of six to one. Um, so, I mean, if Peter Dutton wants to draw any kind of comfort from this result, it says something about uh, what, where he's at um, and, and his need for comfort. But I, I actually think this is a pretty um, lethargic result for the opposition. Um, and, and I actually th think that the, our candidate, uh, Letitia Del Fabro, did a really excellent job in flying the Labor flag uh, in this electorate. Is it, is it a bit of a wake-up call for the government too, though, particularly that perhaps you've got to do more about the cost of living? Well, we're really focused about the cost of living. I mean, we couldn't be more focused about that. And, and Andrew, we really have been focused on the cost of living since the moment that we came to government. And the reason for that is because the, the conditions that were in place around the world and were starting to play out in Australia had already occurred prior to last year's election. So we knew this was going to be an issue which would shape our, our first period in office. And um, it, it's why you know, a package around childcare, which came into place this week, um, was, was a key uh, focus for us because it goes to uh, improving household budgets. It's why at the end of last year we put in place a package which was opposed by Peter Dutton and the Liberals to put downward pressure on energy bills. That's why we had cheaper medicines in place from the beginning of this year. And I could go on. We have been focused on the cost of living from the moment that we came to power because we know uh, the pressure that this is being that this is placing on household budgets, on on businesses around the country. Uh, so, so we get it. We get it that Australians are hurting, and and what Australians know is that in the Albanese government, they've got a government which is going to be working day in day out for them and for their budgets.